because she's so humble and nice is that in my instance, I can't sing, I can't dance, but what she really wanted was somebody who is old. <laughs> I think that uh, what you mustn't do is to talk about age in your columns. Let's all make it all sort of Jane Fonderish and eternal youth. But I think the biological fact is that I have been in, on stage since the age of 10. And this therefore represents 50 plus years of my being in the business. So that's, that's just a historical fact. You have to take it on board, like it. And one of the things that I remember growing up as a child, I happened to spend some of my childhood in England. And for those who were there in those times, which is nobody here present, I went to a circus called Bertram Mill Circus. The Bertram Mill Circus. And I went there with my beloved Uncle Brendan, who'd just taken me to the London Observatory to see the stars. Then he'd taken me to a film to see Lawrence of Arabia. And it was a big deal for us to go to a circus. And I was going to the circus as a young Kenyan lad plucked out from the village at the age of seven and finding myself in the streets of London, not speaking English at all at the time, and everything was a unique learning experience for me, and particularly so, this visit to the Bertram Mill Circus. Because there, I met a gentleman called Coco the Clown. Coco the Clown. And in my family album, I have a picture of myself and my half-sister Sheila sitting on the lap of Coco the Clown. And of all my life experiences, I cannot quite recollect something as magical as that circus experience as a child. At the point that I'm at, I've said I've been in 40 plays, I've played Oedipus, I've played Shylock, I've played Romeo, I don't want to act anymore. I want to direct. I've directed More Fire, so far Kenya's longest running show. We've been to New York, we've been to Switzerland, been there, done that. Now I'm going to write prodigiously and spend the next 20 years of my life working to the Nobel Prize in Literature. So you can see I've got ambition. So I was going to write plays and I was not going to act ever again because, you know, 40 plays and lead roles, that was enough. But when Sheba encouraged me as only she can, the only spur to be in this show is that it's for kids. And on my professional CV, I have been a school teacher, a school teacher for close to 30 years before I abandoned that particular profession because once again, I was old. <laughs> so the opportunity to do something for kids was the enormous spur. And for me, anybody who's an artist on this stage, the idea is why exactly do we do what we do? What are we going to get out of this particular performance? What is the experience? And uh, for me, the outcome, the takeaway, as the Americans say, is going to be acting for kids. This is the big, the big ego trip for me. And uh, if I can do half of what Coco the Clown did for me as a seven-year-old, I would consider it a success. The byproducts of the takeaway is working with a very young generation of folks. The director of the show is Claudia Lloyd. And having directed myself and having taught, I have been particularly impressed with a style which is demanding but gentle. Claudia hasn't <laughs> lost her hip once in the rehearsal. And I'm afraid I can't say that for myself. <laughs> so there was a wonderful learning curve. And when I next directed the play, 
I'm going to always be saying one more time, 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 one more time. I'm going to walk to the other side. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time, and then we sort of get close to it. I think that. Mkanze was a superstar who might have seen on TV as some sort of maternal. Again, uh, I came and I said, Mkanze, my dear, you know, lumber vertebrae, six is gone.